Here in California's Silicon Valley, this new robot is learning to do housework. Willow Garage's PR2 can now help out with many specific tasks, but it's still a long way from being the dream robotic assistant. The number of problems that have to be solved before a robot is useful in your house is huge. It has to recognize thousands of types of objects and make good decisions about what to do with them. People find it easy and common sense, but for robots, every bit of that is very, very difficult to encode in the behavior. To try and tackle this, Eric Berger and Keenan Weirobeck took a different design approach. Most robots use bespoke technology, but this one is designed to be a standard platform for others to modify. Now Berger and Weirobeck are about to give away 10 copies of their robot to researchers. We're providing them as a development platform to the people that we think are going to take the best use of them and make the results of what they're doing open source to share with the rest of the community. Because we really want to see what happens when you have a large community of people building on top of each other's work with a shared platform. Each robot will be able to learn about its new environment. Using two cameras and a laser scanner, it can map its surroundings in 3D and identify features. Programmers will be able to build on these abilities, sharing their work with others, without having to worry about hardware problems. Rather than saying, okay, I got this project, I now I have to do this big electromechanical design and then do all the low-level software, which takes you know, years to do it really well, instead, you, you can try something new over the weekend. This is something we saw happen in the computer industry. It's something that's happened with you know, smartphones. Uh, if you make a platform so that uh, someone in's, who's really good at software can just focus on software and experiment quickly and cheaply, you change the pace of innovation completely. An app store for the robot has already been created. Researchers can now download programs to allow their robot to navigate buildings or plug itself in. As researchers build on these abilities, the PR2 should become more and more useful as a helper for humans.